All right, we are here for review time and I am so sorry that I can't do this in daylight because it's night time. So I have got artificial light all around so you're going to see lots of lights and it's going to spoil the ambience. But I want to get as much light on these beauties as possible. So first of all, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you for encouraging me to keep sharing my ideas. So let's focus on, um, these are one from a video I did the other day. If you've not seen it pop and have a little look, absolutely love these. I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. I've sold two already. So I just got to get some more colors to my collection. But these absolutely love, and I just love the color of this, um, the bookmark that I've changed into these nice little homes. And um, let's look at these crystals. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to order more of these. Thing that I struggled with is when you're using fish wire with these ring hooks, that if you don't make them not meet, I'm trying to say if there's a, the tiniest little gap, it will come out. So I need to work out how to uh, put something there with no risk of them coming apart. But proficient people out there in any jewelry making or things like this, let me know. But back to the project. I love, I've put these nice little, I think, tree of lives in there. And those colours. And when it's going to swivel around, it is going to catch beautifully. Um, when I'm using my drill, I'm getting better at it. But on the odd one, there's a tiniest little scratch like there. So they're not going to be perfect. But that's me. I just look and see all imperfections rather than what I enjoy. <laughs> so they are going to have to have a nice little, I think, polish. Because uh, you've got my sticky, not sticky, but finger marks all over where I've been practicing. But then I came down and I've got three mold balls there. Got to do them in rotations of three. We want them uneven. And then I've stuck the little love emblem in there. And then we go down to three more bleeds to my third bookmark. In here there isn't anything hanging. It's just natural. But that's because we are coming down to our glass. And I can confirm it's glass. Sorry, as we come down here, you can see this prism, which is a glass one. Just need to give that a little polish. And I've used the same colour schemes on this. The, oh, I've just noticed one thing. I did put a charm in here. I didn't put a charm in there, so I'll have to go back and add that. <laughs> and, oh, look at that tiny little scratch there. I will get it out. Anyway, I love those beauties. So absolutely beautiful. So this is back to the original version I did. If I show you on my window over there, which I still love and still enjoy, and it gives some beautiful effects, this is where I've evolved it to. Now, really enjoy these, uh, and I've gone for some nice brighter um, beads here, and I'm going to rotate it around. Different words, Namasati, Trust, uh, and then we've got three beads on both, and then we come down to the um, the, the turquoise. I was going to say aquamarine. Where's, where was I going there? my red, my amber, and my yellow. And we've got glass prism um, beads there. One's the blue and one's the green. Just want these to be bright. Now I've got them rotating opposite ways. So that's the back and then the front. So when they're turning around, they're gonna have points of interest because this has more prism, sorry, my nails again, at the back. Look at that, got a little scratch there. I'll have to uh, sort that out. So look, I'm just noticing all my imperfections rather than sharing with you where these are going. And I love these. Now on the first ones, I put some crystals at the back, but I don't think it needs it because you are getting some of the clear glass coming through. So you're getting that nice reflection. So I'm really happy. You may want to do that, it's up to you. But I just wanted to, it to have a little bit of a different character front and back. But because I did it front and back, you get that nice little shape there. So I really enjoy. I hope you enjoy seeing where I've taken these. I'm quite happy with these. I don't know if I'd change them uh, much at all other than um, these uh, O-rings. I've remembered the name people. <laughs> the same foot. Love this colour scheme here. It's like a tie-dye. Uh, effect and you'll watch uh, I'll have quite a bit of a theme coming out with that when it's a sunny day one day if I still got any I'll show you what these look like when the sun's coming through 
but I would definitely use resin dye, resin dye not alcohol inks. Some people have asked. Anytime you put alcohol inks out in sun, even if it's in good epoxy resin, it will fade and it'll fade quite dramatically. Some brands are better than others, but the resin dye will have a strong pigment. But then it comes down to personal choice. The reason I've gone with these particular pigments is they're transparent and that's part of the beauty of seeing them out there in the sun or in the window or light just catching them anyway i'm sharon i'm digressing come back and see me because i've got some more things coming up within this concept and i hope you don't mind me sharing let me know your thoughts have an amazing day keep safe and i'll see you on the next video bye, -bye.